So I get asked all the time, what do I do with a piece of furniture that has glass on top? It's kind of dated, I want to make it more farmhouse. Today we're going to take this 80s entry table and give it a farmhouse look. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these cedar planks, it's about $6 of wood here. I'm going to cut them down to size, stain them, then we're going to paint them with everything else and distress it all so that it all matches. So those insert sections are 28 inches long. I'm just going to cut six of these because I'm going to need about six of them. I'm going to have to rip these down a little bit so that the three of them equal 11 and 5 eighths inches in width and then we'll put them in there and stain them. I've got the planks all cut out. They were a little warped from being in the sun, so I cut them all into thinner strips instead of just leaving like a big center strip. And that's gonna help them fit in here a little better. And then what doesn't sit down, what I can't compress with the staple gun, I'll go ahead and sand down with like some 60 grit and that should help it lay a lot flatter. You can see here, it's got this bow and this movement here. The staple gun's gonna hold that down pretty well. I've got 60 grit on the random orbital sander. I'm just gonna smooth these out real quick. Shouldn't take long with the 60 grit on there. Then we're gonna stain them and paint them. So I want to add a little bit of depth to this new wood so that way it matches similarly to the stain that's already on the piece. So the perfect product is the Dark and Decrepit by DIY Paint and I'm just going to be using my Palm Pro here. I'm going to paint it on there. It's all natural, water-based, has a built-in sealer. So all I have to do is put on one coat of this and once it's dry in about 15 minutes or so, it will be ready for paint. I've got white swan loaded up in the hopper, three parts of the paint to one part water and then just like an ounce, maybe an ounce or two of extra water to thin it out because the clay based paint is thicker. I'm going to go ahead and spray this real quick, then Jamie's going to distress it, we'll get it sealed and it'll be done. All right, next step is distressing. I'm gonna put my mask on. I'm gonna use my Orbital with 220 sandpaper to give it a good distress and smooth out the top. All right, now that it's all distressed, I'm gonna give it a couple coats of Sweet Pickens Top Coat. I'm spraying it on, but you could easily brush it on. It gives you a nice matte finish. All right, so initially the boards were a little warped. Sometimes when you get that fencing, that cedar fencing from like your hardware store, Home Depot is where I got mine, it's pretty wet and it'll shrink down about half an inch or so. So I always like to get mine, let it sit around for a few weeks. It had been in the sun, that's why my boards were warped. So if you don't put them in the sun, typically they'll shrink, but they won't bow. Something to keep in mind. But it still turned out pretty great, and it's a really good way to take an 80s or 70s dated coffee table, end table, sofa table that has glass in it, and give it a farmhouse style. Sometimes the glass is broken, but sometimes, like in this case, we had the glass, I just didn't like the way it looked, and it didn't fit my style profile. Well, and we had, we had a little bit of miscommunication. Jamie wanted me to plank the whole top. I thought she wanted me to just put wood down in the inserts where the glass had been. So I did my own thing and then she came out and she's like, oh, 
I guess that works. <laughs> it actually looks really good. And the cedar fencing is a good thing because your lip is like this. If you were to use like regular one by, it's too thick and it looks weird. You've probably seen people where they've tried to just inset wood, but it's too thick and you don't want to do that. Zeb also took when he sanded this top down and kind of rounded the edges. So you're not getting a huge different line between the base piece and the wood that we added. Yep. So we use Sweet Pickens Top Coat, DIY White Swan, DIY Dark and Decrepit, and I put that on with our Palm Pro. All of those products can be purchased at jamierayvintage.com. So if you like this fun little project, be sure to share it. It helps us out a lot. We've got a bunch of videos coming up. We've got two room makeovers in the works. I know I've been talking about them a little bit in some of our live videos, but we've been waiting on some things to arrive so that we can finish off the room. So we'll have those out soon. So don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of those videos. And don't leave yet because Zeb's gonna get lots of pictures and some close-ups of the project so you can see the finished project. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.